This video can show two men who had a more than friends relationship. It began in the 19th century and lasted till the 20th century. And it will show different evidence where we can measure how close their relationship became. Go ahead and watch their journey throughout their lives. Douglas Tilden was born in California on May 1st, 1860, the same time the deaf school was established. His parents told us that he lost his hearing from scarlet fever, so they decided to place him at the school for the deaf. He stayed there until he graduated from the UC Berkeley School of Art with an art major. He moved to Paris and studied for three years in sculpture. He came back to California he did a lot of work of art and sculpture and became famous where people noticed his talents in that area. He became a notable figure in the deaf community. Like the California Association for the Deaf, he became the president. He became a well-respected figure in the deaf community as well as a leader. He married a woman named Elizabeth, but unfortunately their marriage did not last. Theophilus Hope de Estrella was raised by his mother. She had five children without communication. So he moved to deaf school in 1960. He was nine, with no background in communication. He was raised at the deaf school and became a bright man, he moved to UC Berkeley, and was the first deaf person to be enrolled. He loved photography and was an adamant contributor in the deaf community. He was never married. He met Douglas when he was 15. And he established a relationship. He loved to travel and, and go camping. He went two hours north via train and stayed there for two weeks with Douglas Tilden. He wrote in his diary and showed what both the two of them sleeping together in a tent. The first night they slept next to each other and they ended up misplaced. He said good night with your sweet dreams and the other said, hey, it was a nightmare. It's a nightmare, what does that mean? We're both fishing. In the river, they always fish naked. But they were very close together. In real life, men in the nude, would they stand close to one another? It's a good question. One afternoon, Douglas Tilden got a letter. He was offered a job to teach at the School for the Deaf. He was thrilled, packed up, and left. But then he was disappointed and he wouldn't stay overnight. So he went back for another evening to stay with Mr. Tilden. They both slept together and the one night and he wrote and he said, we shared our humble fruits of bed together. It was a very warm night. What does that mean? It meant they were comfortable. When he looked at that campsite, he had flashbacks and wondered of the memories he would forever cherish, and he left. When Douglas Tilden was in Paris, he, he went to Paris, and he wrote all of his love letters to Berkeley and he wrote about him and then they started a strong correspondence 
and he asked him to fly to Paris for a conference. When they arrived and laid eyes on one another, they both developed fantasies of how they would one, one day reunite, and it happened. They stayed together for one month, which was quite an adventure, until he returned to Berkeley. And he published 30 articles in the California News, and there were some clues that resembled his homosexuality. In summary, we traveled between the two ju remarkable journeys. Even though they were pretty much brief, they both left a lot of clues. And we shall continue to research about how they were true lovers, which cannot today be proved. This is a great opportunity for the deaf community, the gays and the lesbians, homosexuals across the nation to find out what would be discovered.